that's the breakaway. She might get back. Good. Good afternoon from Xfinity Center, Maryland Falls of Michigan State, 74-68. I am Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, intern Mason. Bruce, we had it going for a little bit. All I can say is we got Purdue right where we want them. <laughs> oh, yeah. They think they can't beat us probably. Yeah. Listen, what can you say? The best first half they played this year, and uh, that was it. Second half. I don't think they came out flat. I just think that Michigan State woke up and they used their size, they used their shooting, they used everything where they had the edge to beat us. And they won fairly easily, although it was close. But uh, still trying to figure out why we didn't take threes at the end. Took a couple twos and tried to stay in at Mason. Gave up 19 offensive rebounds, a little deficient on the big man's side today. Yeah, some plays that really changed the game down the line. Some tip-in rebounds, one where Tchaikovsky and Fernando were both on the floor. You can't have two better rebounders if you're Maryland, but you just gave in the tip-in, and it really changed the game down the line. It did, and uh, Fernando had a lot of shots in close. Only made one of them, one for us, and I think one for them down at the other end. He had two buckets, I think. Or? One for us and one for them. Uh, I think he actually tipped one of the that free throw. I think he tipped it in. Well, he's not playing regularly. You know, he plays, he misses two games, and it's been it's been like that. It's no excuse. You know what they say, the better team won today. I mean, I don't know what else to say. They're number five in the country. And there's a reason for yeah, it. Yeah, there's a reason. I was impressed. And that, and that's, listen, I thought there could have been a bit of a hangover because of all the controversy uh, surrounding Michigan State right now. Right. And that's... I know it was a rough loss for Maryland, but that's really the story of the day. Mm -hmm. is where does it go from here? Right. The uh, incidents of harassment at Michigan State are uh, quite legendary at this point. You think it's the last time we've seen Izzo here, Bruce? I don't know. I, I think I think uh, D'Antonio mm -hmm. could be in more trouble than Izzo. It, it's possible. I don't know. What do I know? I mean, but when you read the ESP, I tell everybody to read ESPN.com, form your own opinions. All right, we will be back in a moment. This is the Viner Four Gates post game show, and a little bit later, we'll have Todd Carton talking about field hockey and women's <laughs> basketball. We'll be back in a moment. All right. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. On the floor at Xfinity Center where Maryland Falls to Michigan State today, we would like to thank our longtime sponsor, Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville. Todd, Mason, Maryland fought back several times today. They have the 15-2 run opening the second half, but Maryland didn't give up. You impressed with the fight they did show? Not anymore because, you know, we've seen it now in a few games in a row, and that's personally what I expect them to do. You know, it's a positive thing when it wasn't happening, but now it's happened the past few games. We had to get this game tied or get a lead, but we just we never pushed forward. Todd? And they, they, they did fight back, but but I felt there were a couple of players, Nickens and, and Herder, who kind of disappeared for long stretches in the second half. Uh, Nickens was pretty solid in the first half. Mm -hmm. I, I think he got one or two shots in the second. Herder missed a couple of threes, one early, and then just kind of 
stopped until the last four or five minutes of the game. That is true. It was a fun day out here. You had the flash mob. You had Gravis and Gary Williams earlier. Uh, is SVP big, and yeah. Logan Aaronhall. Yeah, was I just in the saw house. him walk by. Uh, AJ Francis was here and says hello to everybody. Um, where do you go from here, guys? Todd, what, what, what happens next? You know, you, you do your best to regroup, uh, find the right rotations, and I think at this point you, you, you try to get yourself in the right mindset because I think the, any Maryland NCAA tournament chances now lie strictly in winning the Big Ten tournament. Yeah, Mason? I don't know if it's strictly on lying on the Big Ten tournament. You know, if they can pull something off miraculous against Purdue, you can finish out the season strong, maybe get a win or two in the Big Ten tournament. But, you know, they were just on the brink today. They lost a big gun, one that if you wanted to go, you had to win, according to a lot of people. Now we're in trouble, but we can still make it. All right, we are going to take one moment here. We might come back with segment three with Gravis Vasquez. This is the Viner Four Gates Post Game Show from Xfinity Center. We will be back in a moment. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. We're back here at Xfinity Center. We got Bruce Pauser, I'm Wayne Viner, and special guest, it's Gravis Vasquez. There's only one thing to say, the man. Gravis, welcome home. <laughs> I know you gave it everything you had to get this team ready to win. What went wrong today for the Terps, you think? You know what, more than that, I think it was a great effort. Uh, I'd rather take an effort than anything else. So, you know, we, we, we missed some free throws at the end. Uh, we missed some rebounds. But we, we, we gave it a shot. And then that's the, that to me, as a player, uh, as, a, as a somebody who have knowledge for the game, that's the most important thing. Do you think they laid their heart out? I mean, that's what you were talking about before in the thing that you, you you looked at the most enthusiastic guy was Turgeon. Did you see more from them today? Well, I see a little a little bit more. I'm, I'm still not convinced. I want more. I want more yeah. from the players. Yeah. I think Coach Turgeon is, is, is doing his best. I mean, I mean sometimes it's within the players. And, and and you know what, like I say it again, it's really hard after school. It's really hard when you're done playing in college. So you gotta be able to take care of school and basketball, so okay. I don't think that's too hard. So how do you tell them to find that? You you can find that. It was in you. Yourself. It was it always was in you. Well, I think your point is it's in these guys. They just don't know how to find it. Well, you know how I find it. The the way I find it is like the way I look at my family, mm -hmm. the the way I want to build my legacy, mm -hmm. the way I want I, the way I respect my fans. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think they have it in them. They they just a little shy. I don't know why, but they got. I mean, today was a, it was a better effort. I will say. Gravis, mm -hmm. uh, talk about let's talk about your NBA career. Oh, you're looking to play next year, I assume. All right, are you going? Yeah, to be yeah, okay? no, for sure. My ankle, my my ankle is reacting. And it's reacting slow, but uh, I'm still gonna work. I'm still gonna fight. I'm gonna take my time. I'm not in any. I'm not in any rush. So I'm just gonna continue to work. Why don't you call up Kevin Durant and say, put in a word with me with uh, Kerr. You would fit in on that team. Unbelievable. You know what? Unbelievable. You you, you might be surprised. You I'm might be surprised. You, you would be an unbelievable fit for that team. You might be surprised. I so will see what happens. If you need an agent, Bruce is about. Oh, you got me. For yeah. free. Calling, please. For, for oh. free. I'll do it. You do nothing for now. This. No, the uh, greatest is for okay. free. When you were down here and you were talking to Cowan when he was right inbound the ball, what do you tell these guys in that one second they can hear you? Just be aggressive. We need to shoot more free throws, drive the ball, make a play. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I thought that we, at first we were just depending on the, on the jump shot. I yep. think we have to drive more. We got to get to the free throw line more. We have to be more aggressive. We have to push the ball. We can't be walking the ball all the time. So it's okay with you when they do drive, it gets blocked because it shows the aggression. It works well enough. Oh, you know what? Obviously, I don't want them to get blocked, but I'd rather them be, be aggressive. But if you're smart enough, yep. instead of just getting a block, yep. you drop it to the guy that went to help. Yep. And we get a dunk instead, right. and that's part of being you know, growing and, and, and having experience. And he, he'll get there. Gravis, you're, after your freshman year, you played for a national team in Venezuela. You take the court against Team USA, and who do you guard? Kobe Bryant. What was that like when you were like 19? Uh, that was a dream come true, man. Uh, unbelievable, you know, be be able to play against the best of the best in the world, doing it in college, doing it in the NBA. 
I can't complain, man. Life is good. Hey, is me and real last question. I'll let you go. Me and Wayne were talking, commending you on committing yourself to Venezuela because you're doing that love of country. Right. Obviously, you're you're a hero around here. Back there, it's pretty bad right now, isn't it? Well, as a leader, you always gotta be in times of crisis. You you have to you have to be able to help the youth especially because sometimes they don't understand so my my i want to play my role i want to give back to the community that really needs it really needs the tools and and that little push for them to reach their goals so that's i'm just doing my part and your family everybody's good yeah my family's good and the name of your charity it's uh, gravis vasquez foundation uh, we'll put it on our site hope we, we could do some good for you Thank i gotta you. tell you the more you come back here you lifted this whole place yeah. even though we didn't win but you lifted this whole place. How did you feel the way you were treated they, coming you, back here? You guys, you guys changed my life. You guys lifted me this weekend. I'm extremely thankful that I came to school here. I'm extremely thankful that you know. <laughs> uh, I needed this. I needed this. I need. I, I needed this energy. You know, I'm going through a tough time. I love playing basketball. I don't. You know, I, I'd rather be playing. But when the days are over, I hope you wind up here. I hope. I hope I can I coach you, over here. So. Yeah, I really hope you do. Because you're such a credit to the community, and we'll always love you, man. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you, Gravis. Thank you. Thank All right, you. my friend. Great to see you, Gravis. Bruce, uh, wow. that's probably going to do I it just, for tonight. That made the day. That, All right? well, I'm, I'm as happy. tough as the day was, uh, that made the day, yep. talking to one of my, I, he is my hero yes. for what he did for Maryland. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Bob Cousy, we forgot about that, the Bob Cousy Award. Oh, he's, he's a super guy. But ACC player we of lost. the year. We lost. Yep. Off to Purdue. Off you go. You thinking of uh, checking that out? Oh, I'm definitely going. I'm All definitely right. going. Well, you will hear Bruce live from Mackey Arena. I got a sneaking suspicion about that game. All right. Well, you're going to leave it at that. You will be on live on Wednesday night from Purdue on Turp Talk. Most likely. Yep. Most likely. Okay, All we'll right. see. Good evening. All right. From Xfinity Center.